I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. What's up everybody, this is Steve Strelagi. Today we are looking at a new pedal from Iconic Custom Guitars. If you've been around the channel before, you have seen this beauty. This is my number one guitar from Iconic, and this is their first pedal release. It's got four knobs, it's got a volume, a tone, drive, and a scream. And it also has a toggle switch. So the toggle switch enables that scream knob. The scream is a second gain stage that takes it into a further overdriven sound. It's still not like an all out distorted sound. It still keeps a nice creamy overdrive sound throughout the sweeps of both of the pots. So let's get right into it. I am plugged into my 68 Bassman going through a Sur Reactive load straight into my DAW with a little bit of Helix Native Reverb. <laughs> That's the clean sound. So let's go over to the ice cream. I'm on the bridge pickup with the telly. So this is obviously a more mild setting, having everything set up at noon. Let's uh, test the sweep of this tone. This tone is an interesting interesting thing. It's not like your typical tone knob on a guitar or on any other pedal. Mostly it's just about the high end, but this is more guitar mid-frequency friendly. It's almost like an EQ boost instead of a, like a regular just tone knob. So when I dial this up, you're gonna hear a lot more mids introduced and some nice crispy high end. <laughs> Go to the neck humbucker. Cool, let's uh, put it more of a low gain sound. So I kind of like this, the lowest gain possible. A little bit uh, a love for a unity gain. So at the lowest gain settings, it kind of keeps a natural vibe to your tone. It doesn't color it too much, but it just gives it a nice subtle overdrive. Really useful for rhythm parts, big power chords that you want to bloom with the amp. As we turn this drive knob up, We'll start getting a little bit more gain, a little bit more hair. So you'll notice on the bridge pickup with the telly, the tone knob is still all the way up and it hasn't added any type of brittle high end. It's still a really nice warm sound. Let's test the extremes of this tone knob while we're over here. This is with the tone knob down. Now let's increase it. Go a little further now. Go past noon where we were before. You hear it really come to life when it gets to about the three o'clock mark. That's what, that's like two o'clock? One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. That's about uh, about 2.30-ish. Now you hear it kind of bump up the mids and get a little bit more in your face. And here's that tone knob all the way up. So it still doesn't add a ton of high end. Listen to that, that's with the tone knob all the way up. It's 
still musical, still very usable at all settings with this tone. Let's test some of the gain. Here's the gain knob all the way up. Nice subtle overdrive even at the highest setting. Now let's engage that scream knob. So engaging the scream knob is going to engage that second gain stage. Let's try it with this gain at noon. Let's turn the scream all the way down and hear the subtle difference with the knob. Well. Scream off. So it adds a nice little touch of gain there. Now as we increase, start getting a little bit more hair. A little bit better for a lead sound. Let's turn that scream up a little bit past noon. Now you're in a nice classic rock territory. Really fattens up the single coil uh, tele pickup. Let's go to the neck humbucker. Doesn't get muddy with the neck pickup either. Now let's turn that scream all the way up. Let's go to the single coil neck pickup. This is this neck humbucker coil split. So even at the max gain, it still retains clarity, doesn't get muddy. What a nice pair with the basement. Both of these cranked up still. I'm surprised how usable this sound is. So yeah, that's the new Ice Cream from Iconic Custom Guitars. Go check one out today.